Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another day, another cop harassment. I guess you would call it. <clears throat> so the last week, the last week, especially. Well, the last two weeks we've been dealing with mass shootings. Another one just happened in Indianapolis. <laughs> now, they, now they done switched it back to uh, black killings again. So we had the shooting in South Carolina with the former NFL player. They didn't get a lot of attention. No attention at all. He went into a, a, cop, I mean, a doctor's house, shot him. His was his wife and, and the his grandkids two, and two grandkids, and then a, a, a bystander. And I think there was some connection because the state of media didn't talk about it. There had to be some connection. He knew that doctor somehow. But anyway, he had a shooting in Texas, or was it uh, somewhere? Else. Two cops just got killed in Texas. Yeah. Then you got the story that happened uh, in Minneapolis, obviously with uh, Dante Wright. Now you got a sh- story in Chicago with a 13 year old. Uh, I, don't, I can't remember his name right now. So it's just like, damn, <laughs> the co- and the cops is getting, they getting a lot of hate. Lot and then of you got this story. Then you got this story with this Afro Latino named Matthew. I ain't even gonna try to say his last name. It's Italian, and he was pulled over because the cops said they couldn't see his um, license plate, but. According to him, his license plate is tape. It's a new car, and his license plate is dumb tape on a back windshield inside the car. You can see it right there. Yeah. I can see it from here. So the cops pulled him over for the license plate thing, but he, it's right there. Yeah. It's on the uh, right side. Yeah. So, but anyway, if you've already seen this video, you know how this go down. We're just going to click through it a little bit. Get out of the car now. What's going Get on? Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Sir, just get out of the car. Work with us and we'll talk to you. Get out the car. You receive an order. Obey it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm honest. Now, keep in mind, he's been pulled over. He don't know why. They're treating him like he's, he's a, a, a gun runner or something. Like he, they're treating, you remember that there was a case where the black dude was a sniper? Uh, you talking about one that happened in Washington, D.C.? Yeah. I forgot his name. They treated him. They it treating, was his father and his son, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. They're treating him like, he done went yeah, on this terrorist. mass shooting spree and, and they're he, pulling he him fit, over and yeah, he, he won't surrender. Descri- yeah, he fit a description. They pull him over for a license plate not being seen. This is America. And he's like, what? Y'all not telling me why I'm getting out of the car? Y'all just pulling out your pistols? What? what? I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I? Yeah, you, you should be. Gone? Get out. Oh, what you should be. On? He said, I'm afraid to get out. He said, you should be. And he said, you should be. That's a threat. That's a threat. Get out of the I car! Do? Get out now! I have not committed any crime. You're being stopped by a traffic violation. You're not cooperating at this point right now. Is this cop drunk? This cop might be drunk. You're under arrest for a traffic... For, you're being detained, okay? You're being detained for, for a traffic violation. traffic justice. violation, I do not have to get out the vehicle. You haven't even told really? me why I'm being stopped. Really? Get your get hands... Out, get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me, get please. The, get your hands off me. You know what? Get your hands off me. Get, get your car. hands off me. Back up there. This cop is literally escalating the situation more and more and more. Yeah. I didn't do anything. Don't do that. Sir, get out of the car now. Hey, sir, get out of the car now. Don't do, don't now. do, don't do I'm trying to talk to you. Okay. I'm trying to I'm talk to you. Get out. Just relax. get out of my car. Can you please get relax? Can get you out. please The civilian is telling the cop to relax. He now he was fired. <laughs> the civilian. Well, he's not a civilian. He's in the military. He's a lieutenant yeah. in the military. He's not a civilian. Yeah. I was about to say that. But he has to tell the cop. To slow. You know, there was an article as well. Think about this for a second. The military is trying to find a way to tell their black officers in the military how to deal with police. Now, Matt, now we know how in the black community we have this thing where you have to teach your kid, your sons and your daughters how to deal with police. In the military, they're now saying we got to further teach our black military uh officers how to deal with police in america this is getting crazy please relax get out of the car right I, now Ma'am. this is not how you treat a vet uh i'm actively serving this country and this is how you're going to treat me i didn't do any whoa hold on Back what's up. going hold on watch watch it air force is deployed get out of the car Get out of the car now! The f- up. The f- car now! Sir, just get out the car! I'm trying to breathe. Oh, f- up. That's really f- up. 
Yeah, oh, get out of the car and get on the ground now. You're gonna get it again. Can you please? Get out of the car now. Uh, Listen, uh, take off your seatbelt and get out of the car. Look. Even the cops in the next room, like, this is crazy. <laughs> like, what are you doing? When you see these things, this this is what makes people think, is this stuff real? Because when you see these things, you go, this, this can't be real, this cop just pulling this. This man's in the military, and yeah. you're treating him like, Garbage. he's like, I, I'm going to actively serve for this country for you as well, and this is how you treat me. Look, I'm just going to just please. You're going to do what you're told. Get out of the car. My, look. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the Look. Take your <laughs> Seat belt. Don't reach in there, Daniel. Don't reach in there. My hands are out, please. Don't reach in there. Seatbelt off. What are you, a specialist, Corporal? What are you? I'm a lieutenant. Lieutenant, get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. You made. The you know, he knows. Treat his that, rankings like it's nothing. You know, he does know that when you get uh, sprayed with mace and stuff, you kind of get discombobulated. His face is burning. He can barely breathe, and you want him to get down. <laughs> it's way more difficult than it had to be. He just complied. Get out of the car. It's I'm always, reaching for my seatbelt. All right. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Straight on the ground. Straight onto the ground. Ma'am. Is your commanding officer you available? Down. Let's go. Is your commanding Let's officer go. available? Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Why am I being treated like this? Why? If you're not cooperating, get on the ground. Why am I being treated like this? This is really messed up. This is really messed up. Sorry, what? Just what you want. This is really. This is up. Sorry. This is up. Sorry. This is up. Sorry. This is up. Sorry. Yeah. Obviously, that that was a crazy ass story, but that ain't even the craziest stories. So another story came out. Beating on his old ass. There was an older black man with his grandson who has autism. Allegedly, the older black man had a seizure. And next thing you know, the cops come and it's eight to ten officers. They could they couldn't even handle this old man who's had a seizure. It, it took eight to ten of them. Yeah. To and restrain him, supposedly. And they were beating on this old ass man in front of his autistic grandson. Yep. Why they hitting him? Let it go! Let it go! Get him hit. Yep. Why he hitting him? He just hanging on his old Why man. Why he hitting him? Oh, he kicking him. Yep, he kicking oh, him. Oh, he kicking Look. him. Oh, this is police brutality. Yeah, you being recorded. You are being recorded. Wait. Then when they realized they were being recorded, they got off of him. And this piece of shit right here, this black mm -hmm. cop right here, this piece of shit, watch this. We will stone your ass. He shook his hand and looks at his fist. He was helping punch him. Yep. Piece of shit. Out of all of them, you the one. That, ooh. We would stone I, your ass. Wait. Not going to get no threats. Don't want to get flagged, but you the one. We're going to leave it at that. You the one. Oh, they got the ambulance now. Coming. He was having an episode. Oh, he was having an episode? Yeah, a while ago. Now, this man, this, this older black man was having a seizure. The cops were called probably because they were like, something wrong with this old man. He's having some. he passed out. The cops come there, and I guess they want to arrest him. Now, keep in mind, he just had a seizure. He's discombobulated. Another another situation where the, the, the what they would call the suspect is disoriented. He don't know. It's like, okay. Like getting mace in the face and you got somebody yelling at you to take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. It's like, okay. Now you just had a seizure and you got people walking up to you. It's like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Sad situation. So that's that story and that crazy shit. So that's a, a Afro-Latino lieutenant in the military who was treated the same way as an old black man minding his business with his grandson. But that ain't even... <laughs> That ain't how it goes all the time. No, it ain't. <laughs> There's instances where it go totally different for some people for whatever reason. Let's look at this case here. There's a uh, white guy in a car getting pulled over. And watch how 
this situation goes totally different, even though they're in much more danger. They're in danger with this guy. Put your hands on the steering wheel. No. What are you reaching oh, for? Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey get a... out of the car, man. You got a gun right whoa, there. Whoa, whoa. There's, the rights. There's rights to get this. Out. There are rights to this. Do you have a concern? There are carry? rights to this. Whoa. Get, get out. Hold up right there. It's open. My hands are up. My hands are up. Oh, no, you got to. You this is on body cam. You have body cam, sir. Put your hands over your eyes. Do you have a body cam? Put your hands over your eyes. Do you have body cam, sir? Put your hands over your eyes. Yeah, I will send this dog on you. I will shoot you if you do. Don't get your eyes. Hey, Elon. You have rights. He said, I'll shoot you if you do. The, do the, the cop said, I'm going to sick this dog on you. And he said, I'm going to shoot you and looked at his gun and touched it. He didn't say, you know what? He, wait a minute. <laughs> he just he threatened the officer. You put a gun on me. You put the dog on me. I'm going to shoot you. And they just, okay, we know he had a gun in the car. He's threatening to use it. If this and was it's a, right there in the seat next to him. If this is the black dude, they saw that gun. Pow, pow, pow. Yeah, it's already happened. It would have been shots unloaded. It's already, on yeah. Yeah. And not only that, these white people will put the dog in danger. Yeah. They don't put dogs in danger. Nah. Hey, hey, hey. You have rights too. You have rights too. Don't you dare. You have rights. You can't shoot you dare. You know that. Right. You have you no weapon. Hey, hey. Okay. Yes, I don't. do. And it's don't. What I need you to do. Hey. You right, guys can grab me on this. This is also on constitutional okay. body cam. Right. Body cam request. Can you quit yelling so I can talk to you? You have a gun you need more for me. Units right now. I need you to relax for real. Please. I will shoot you if it's possible. The guy's a threat. It's open threat. You have no body cam. You know this. He has a My body hands are open. Right. My hands are open. Okay. My hands are open. You need to get out of the car no, so we not. can remove you I from do that not. weapon. You cannot. No, it is constitutionally owned. I see that. Do you have a concealed carry permit? It's not concealed. Yes, you can see the weapon. It's right there. Don't do it. Body, okay. Okay. What are you afraid of? Dude, don't do it. Do me a favor. Just no. please step out of the car. That's all we're asking you to do. Oh, you're asking me to Yes. yes. Conceal your weapons, please. No. This is how we treat each other civilly. Please. This is how we act civilly. You know Sir. this. Right eye. Right Sir. eye. You got cover? No. Just yes, we do. Don't. And he put, put, his, put his gun put away. Put his gun away. He put his gun away. He put his gun away. Sure hey, did. Hey, man. This is your kingdom. You could do that. This is your kingdom. All right, he I told him, put your gun away and act civilly, and I I might get out of the car. And he put his gun away. Man. Because he know that white man are uh, unloading his ass. He ain't going to keep talking to him. <laughs> so we know how that went. Nothing happened. They, get, they went on about his business. But this case right here is funny <laughs> as hell. A white man. <laughs> older. I can't even say that last name. Lord have mercy. Older Luke, white man. Yeah, he was 61-year-old. Who ran? He had a police officer on the hood of his car driving around, and he beat one on with a damn hammer. You heard that right? He beat an officer <laughs> with a hammer. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all the video right quick. Look at this shit. Oh, oh, oh my God! <gasps> oh, hell no! <gasps> the cop was on there. Oh. Yeah, nothing happened. <laughs> he beat the officers allegedly, or hit hit an officer, I say, with the damn, and he drove off at one on the side of the damn car, and he didn't get shot. Nope, but they always get, they always live to see another day, tell their story. It's amazing to me how you can do whatever the fuck you want. Say you could say, you know how you see those videos of these people trying to say, I got rights. You know, uh, what they call them. Um, I, I got subscribed to one of these dudes, uh, Amendment Rights People. I forgot, the, I forgot the name of it, where they walk around with weapons or they walk around in government buildings recording, proving that they still could do this stuff. Or they get pulled over and say, I don't answer I questions. I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. And it's like, you can't do that. Am I being detained? You, I'm not allowed to be driving and a cop comes to the side of my car and I say, I don't answer questions. He's going to say he's suspicious. He's going to want me out the car and it's going to turn into a big thing. A white guy can say, I don't answer questions. Am I being detained? And he, he just show his uh his identification, his all his certification. They go run it. Oh, and, and I don't night, I don't back. open my door. I don't roll down windows. And it, it's just insane that that that's is just <laughs> two different Americas, two Americas. Yeah, it's two totally different Americas. Uh, white people get to do whatever the fuck they want to do, <laughs> and other people have to ob abide by their laws that they can change at any moment based on how they feel hey that's when it's your kingdom you do what you want to do that's what it is but these cops are losing more and more support because anybody who knows anything about evangelicals 
pro-police televangelist Pat Robertson slams Derek Chauvin. Kim Potter says we can now have a bunch of clowns policing the U.S. Do y'all so, know how big that is? Are they are they trying to make people hate police officers? Oh, it already happened. So that when this uh, they're trying to me, it seems like they're trying to make police people hate police officers and police officers feel some way about civilians so when this martial law thing pop off officers won't be that sensitivity that sympathy yeah yeah, will be gone they'll be numb when they're ordered to do something they'll do it a lot of the trump supporters lost respect for the police officers at the capitol riot or the capitol protest march riots insurrection because the police officers they felt like were being unfair to them they're like, we support you. You know what we're allowed to do what we're doing. And so it, they have a lot of discontent with them. And now obviously, you already know the other segments. Yeah, so I, I agree. I think the cops at this point, they're back against the wall. They really have no allies amongst civilians. They don't want to have no allies. So when this martial law thing pop off, the cops will be numb. They'll be sensitive to the people. So when they're ordered to do something, they will do it. They will be military. They want a military trained. <sighs> Feelings, all feelings gone when they're giving these barking orders to do something. We'll, we'll see how far that goes because they can get real bad. Um, poor Jay, um, poor, poor old man. But yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> the shootings are back. The mass shootings are back. The police shootings are back in the media now. Uh, and they're going to continue this energy, this chaos stuff, causing more mayhem. Yep. Uh, definitely going to lead into the summer, obviously. <laughs> yep, it's going to go until May. So uh, we, we got to see what happens, you know, what's next? What do they got next for us? I think Well, I think the only thing big that has to happen is that Derek, he got to get off. He can't. Somehow, some way, no he got to get off. No way he gets off. The evidence well, is they're trying stat- to say that George Floyd did not die because of the kneel no, in the no, neck. They, they didn't say that. The the the, uh, the medical professional they brought in said no, it was it was air uh, oxygen loss and the uh police chief said the, the the technique he used was not trained by them there there's no if they find him not guilty it will reverse everything that there's it, they can't it will be a complete bullshit literally everybody that's been a witness has been saying no he guilty it was definitely because of what he did he definitely died of a lot of lack so of you think they're gonna find him guilty 100 percent i i don't I, there's no way they can get away get around it We'll be following up on this story. <laughs> I'm we'll saying, <laughs> I'll put my money on it. I know how much money you want to put know, on it. I know, I know, it's America. How much money you got? There's Travis. If they don't <laughs> find him guilty, this will literally be Rodney King all over. This will it will go. That's down. what they need. They need something to pop off big. This is the only. This is that's the only big thing they could pop off. It's gonna be the Kim Potter, you thought, the Dwayne Wright. That, that's not gonna make it pop off. It has to be George Floyd because he. You know what? He has all this energy. He yeah. is the one that has to do it. You know what? They are prepping us with Dante Wright and this 13-year-old out of Chicago. They prepping us with already got people in the streets. And that hold on, that that 13-year-old was it's not comparable because he actually had a gun on him. Yeah, but he threw the gun and he the did officer, throw the gun down. The officer told him to put his hands up. He put his hands up. He still got shot. But the difference in the other cases is with black people. They were not armed. Yeah. Or when they were armed, they told the officer, I have a gun. I have a permit of whatever. But yeah. That was his name. The guy. And uh, was it was that Minnesota, too? That was Minnesota. I forgot. Shit his, been popping off what's in his Minnesota. Name? Uh, he was a he, he worked he, at a school as a janitor. Oh, man. He, he got killed in a car with his wife. It's a shame. You just forget their name. And her kid and his and his kid. I'll find his name. Yeah. I'll put the article up. But yeah. Um. I don't know, man. They find him not guilty. It's gonna be way worse than last summer. If you, if well, hell, Seattle way... already a, it's already a shithole. It's a dump. Yeah, but I anyway, mean, what more could they do to it? <laughs> we'll see. But anyway, man, that's that's the two Americas that's out here. And I had this guy I'm going back and forth with in the comment section, and he's trying to defend um, Kim Pol- Potter, trying to say, oh, she 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 um, she, she uh. He basically trying to make the excuse that she did mean to pull out her gun, mm. even though she said she didn't. It's mm-hmm. like, bruh, it's manslaughter. I'm not saying Dante Wright 
yeah. you know, was well, completely absolved of everything. It's just she said she wanted to pull a taser out. She had a pistol out. She shot him. That's manslaughter. There's no getting around it. People are entitled to have their opinions <laughs> in the comment section. Yeah, they are, but that's just the truth. Uh, they're not going to agree with everything that we say or everything it's we say. It's not think. about agreeing. It's just the facts. But anyway, <laughs> all right, man. We're going to go ahead and cut this one short. All praise to the Most High. Peace.